Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus for the first two weeks of January. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here to get an overall energy. So this is for Taurus for first two weeks of January 2020. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Magician in the mirror. Well, you know what the magician is. And this equals an eight. So this is the ultimate abundance. This is manifestation. You may have manifested something. Um, you have the resources. This is also um, having the power. Look at that. This person definitely has a lot of power. A divine connection here. We have a very powerful individual who... Uh, it's like your wish is being granted. You, if you ask for it and you believe, you will get it. It's like you're getting something that you asked for. Okay, you've manifested something. And eights are, you know, it's a, it's a great number. This equals eight. It's it's a you're it's extreme abundance. Okay, this is getting what you asked for. So Taurus, you're gonna get something that you asked for. You manifested this. Wow, this is very powerful. So you are very powerful. You may have not known how powerful you are, but oh, I see you're getting something that you asked for. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. Huh. What I just heard was that mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? interesting so Taurus you're going to be receiving something you have you're, it's like the answer to your prayers as above so below that's what the magician is right so they're going to give you what you asked for what do we have for Taurus first two weeks first two weeks of January Ooh, the Hierophant Reverse. Now that is a Taurus, okay? But this is also um, a lack of faith, a lack of believing, okay? So if you don't believe, if you don't have faith, then you're not going to get it. So that is a clear message. And it's funny that I mentioned that at the beginning. But So if you are not a believer... If you don't believe in a higher power, if you don't believe that, that you are powerful, then forget it. Okay, so that's what that's why this card came out. To let those disbelievers, to let those people that are not awakened know that if you didn't manifest it, if you didn't ask for it, if you don't truly believe, you're not going to get it. Okay, so that's the message that somebody needs to hear. This, the Hierophant reversed is also poor counsel. Somebody is having a hard time doing the right thing because of society or somebody is being controlled by a father figure. Um, there could be a father figure that is questioning his authority. There could be somebody that is an authority that is disgraced. This person is not spiritual at all. They're not awakened. They are not awakened. You may be dealing with somebody that you are no longer on the same page with. They're just not even on the same level with you at all. Okay? You may be dealing with somebody that is very superficial and really, really um, cares about what society thinks more than they do about kindness, you know, about giving, about uh, spirituality, somebody with a big ego, somebody that is more, um, superficial. All right. So I think Taurus, you may be dealing with somebody that is very, uh, not enlightened, put it that way. Okay. Or this could be you. These readings can go vice versa. This is somebody who doesn't believe they don't have faith. They're not spiritual. So they're not, uh, going to get what they asked for because they didn't ask for it because they didn't believe. So, anyway, somebody's going to get what they asked for, but somebody isn't. 
Okay. Um, la strength reversed. So we had this is weak, loss of concentration. Also, what goes around comes around. Okay. I feel like we have somebody here that can't master their emotions. They have a self esteem. Probably could be dealing with a Leo as well. Um, this person is weak, they are cowardly, they have self-esteem, self-confidence issues, they're very, very prideful. This, in reverse, this is ego, and this is ego. So somebody here really has, has to check their ego. Um, their ego may be, uh, be getting a check, put it that way. The Empress. Interesting. This is very, very, very interesting because this is the this is a father figure. Okay, this is this is being controlled by a father figure. Okay, or or somebody in authority. And somebody is feeling definitely disgraced. Their ego somebody is getting like a blow. A blow to their ego. Could be a could be a Taurus, could be a Leo. But this is a birth of a new life. This is a this is after pain receiving a blessing blessing. Something to do with mother being a mother. This is a birth. This is a rebirth. This is tender loving care, unconditional love. This is a blessing. Somebody is going to be receiving a blessing. You are going to be receiving a blessing, Taurus. You are. These are all your, I mean, seriously, this is, this is you. Very loyal, very down to earth, very capable, very stable, very solid. It's like you, the opera, this is what you've manifested. You have manifested a gift. You are going to be receiving a true gift. Some of you are going to be getting pregnant. You may be delivering a baby. Something about a child here. This, these are both the mother, okay? This is Mother Earth, okay? And this is a mother. Something to do with being a mother, getting the stable, solid opportunity. And this is as above, so below. So you're going to be getting something that you asked for. You may have felt like you weren't going to get it, okay? You may have, but I think that you are. You're going to get something. This pain that you are about to endure or that you have endured is going to bring you a true gift. This is a real big opportunity. It's like you're capable, you're stable, you're solid. <laughs> this is a very grounded individual. It's like everybody can see how down to earth this person is, how gentle and loving and kind this person is. This is a homemaker. This is some this is a very fertile time as well. If you don't want to get pregnant, be careful because somebody could definitely somebody could get pregnant during this time. Mm -hmm. Somebody is being broken free from some sort of trap or some sort of prison, some sort of uh, containment. This is freedom. Somebody may have been ill because this is illness and illness. It's like it feels like this illness is, is coming to an end. Somebody was being controlled by another person, another person that had a lot of pride and a lot of ego. This person was, was keeping them bound, keeping them trapped, keeping them in an unhealthy situation. Maybe a father figure. Or somebody that is very much uh, driven by society. Somebody that is totally not awakened has been stealing another person's energy, has been keeping somebody in some sort of uh, lockdown. 
there's probably some extreme regrets. You could be dealing with somebody that is guilty because this is guilty. Maybe they received some poor counsel and now they're being found guilty because guilty this can be legal issues as well. So somebody could be experiencing some legal setbacks in going to jail even. This is lies. Eight of Swords reversed is lies. Somebody was lying and they're being they may be found guilty for their lies. And if it's not court related, somebody may see. Five of Swords. Oh my god, wanting to win at all costs. We know what the Five of Swords is. We have somebody here that is turning their back on a situation. Feeling overwhelmed. It's better to just walk away. But I feel like this person has had a really hard time walking away. Looks to me like there's been some bloodshed. Somebody may get hit by the looks of things. I'm just sorry, but that's what it looks like to me. Somebody got hurt. And we have somebody over here that is, you know, this is freedom as well because this person is free. Free from this drama. Somebody has been in a very traumatic situation. But I think there's some ties that are being severed. It's like it's time to go. It's time to just walk away and leave it all behind. So somebody is going to be going their own way and leaving it behind and admitting their defeat. This is defeat. Somebody is going to be admitting their defeat. They're going to get defeated by the looks of things. We definitely have a cowardly individual here who let pride and ego get in the way. And now they're they're like extremely exhausted with the Nine of Swords reverse. Extremely exhausted. Somebody didn't have good intentions. They were lying. Interesting. So what is this Five of Swords? This Five of Swords is walking away. Walking away from a situation that where they got hurt. Somebody may get hurt. They may get... Oh, this one just fell out. Ten of Wands making a conscious change. Packing up and leaving. Somebody is leaving. They're leaving a situation behind that was weighing them down in a very big way. Dropping. Dropping out, perhaps. Somebody could be dropping out. Somebody was definitely trying to do too much. Maybe they were overly competitive. That's what it looks like to me. And now they're about to get... It's like, you know, they're, somebody was definitely over, overly competitive. And they were lying. And it's like now... Now it's like... This is way, way too much. It's, they've gotten themselves in too deep. And now they're about to get hurt. And, I, and I'm not trying to say that somebody's going to get hurt. But they, you see, this person is hurt. This person is hurt. This person is, is the victor. And this person is just like, you know, I don't want to fight anymore. It's time to go. So somebody is, is deciding that it's time to go. But. There's, there's some sort of lies that are being exposed. It's like something is coming out about guilty. Somebody is being found guilty of something. Interesting. The party is over. Yes, it is. The Four of Wands. This party is over. There is, it's like th this honeymoon period is over. This marriage is over. This wedding is over. This... This, there's nothing to celebrate. This is not anything to celebrate. There's a lack of happiness. There's a lack of growth in a relationship. It was good for a minute, but it didn't last. 
Five of Cups, beginning to realize that there's a better opportunity. Five of Cups reversed. Somebody is beginning to realize that there is a better opportunity for emotional fulfillment. It's like they see it. They see that there's something better here. This is too... Uh, somebody could be mentally ill. Okay, I just that just came to me with these cards right here. Somebody could have a mental illness. And it's realizing that. Somebody could be realizing that. We could have a pathological liar here you could be dealing with. But this and this is realizing the truth. And this Ten of Wands is freedom. So somebody and this is breaking free from something where somebody was in some sort of confinement, some sort of containment, some sort of trap. Somebody was trapped in a situation that they couldn't escape from. And it's like now there's going to be some sort of escape. Interesting. It's like there's balance waiting. So as soon as you walk away from this, or you or the other person, so as, as soon as somebody goes in another direction, they find balance and they realize that they're, it's like they let go of the loss, let go of the fight, let go of the drama. So I think it's the end of a situation where there was a lot of conflict okay there was a lot of a lot of competitive competitiveness as well somebody's need to compete has really broken another person down somebody was controlled by a person that was very very authoritative may have been even like a narcissist you couldn't win no matter what you did this person just would not give up but this is a gift. So somebody is, there's after this pain, because there's pain over here, there is. There's definitely overthinking, there's, there's paranoia, there's fear. There's a lot of fear. Um, it's like somebody's energy has been stolen. They, it's like they haven't been given a chance to even express themselves. And whenever they do, it's a constant battle. So it's like... I feel as though, if I just was noticing this, 555, five, five, there's going to be a big change. This change may feel uncomfortable, but it's actually positive change. Something is going away. Something is being released with the Ten of Wands. Something that was weighing a person down is being let go. This is change that probably hurts it probably there's probably a lot of regrets there's a lot of sadness there's depression over letting go there's depression over not seeing the truth you know for a while there's there's um feeling uh sad feeling you know this is unbelievable because I, that's i really this is unbelievable i can't believe that i got myself involved in this situation so I feel as though after this period of, of, of pain, there's going to be a new life because this is the birth of a new life. After pain, there's a, there's a blessing. There's a miracle. So this is regaining stability, regaining security, having the opportunity. You're going to be given something that is solid. Okay, after you get out of this situation that was weighing you down, whoever this is, somebody was weighing another person down and you are going to be receiving some sort of solid opportunity that gives you a blessing. This is truly the Empress gives birth to a miracle, to a blessing. But before she does that, she has to experience pain. So this is also abundance. Some of you may be uh, moving into a new house or getting some money or getting a child or I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, it is something that is long term. Okay. Somebody may be getting out of a commitment and going their own way. Yeah, that star reversed is a lack of, of hope. There's some sort of relationship or commitment that seemed to be a dream come true that it wasn't, but it wasn't. This is truly a blessing in disguise. It is. This this 
letting go of whatever it is that you have been holding on to is a true blessing in disguise. Whether it's you or the other person. Somebody uh, has lost their faith, for sure. There's a lack of faith here. But I'm telling you to believe you're going to get something. There's something they have something for you. It's like there's a lack, lack of I can't. It's like it's like this. I can't believe this has happened. How did I get myself involved in this? I'm so upset. I'm so upset that I engaged myself with this person. It's that kind of energy. This is this is a. Uh, well, what's the word for a disgrace? Okay, this is a disgrace. I, I'm so embarrassed. Somebody may be really embarrassed. Somebody could actually, it could be the person, I don't know who you're dealing with, but somebody could end up going to jail, okay, for hurting another person, okay? Somebody could end up in jail. I don't know how you're involved here. So for, for neglecting another person or for hurting another person, Whatever the case is, for somebody could end up in jail. Somebody that you are directly involved with, 555, five, five, things are about to change. That's a card, uh, that's a number of personal freedom and major life change. So be prepared for a change. Whatever this change is, it's going to bring you a solid opportunity. Okay? And you may not believe it. You may be in disbelief whenever this happens. Because I see disbelief here. I can't believe this. I keep wanting to say that I can't believe this. But whatever whatever it is that you can't believe, it's going to... It, it, believe it. Whatever is happening, believe it. Because this is a blessing for you. It is. The Empress gives birth to a new life after a painful release. Okay? A painful delivery. All right? delivering is not easy so there is going to be something that is delivered but it's gonna it's going before you get it there's going to be a period of 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 pain okay that's just the way it goes but you are going to be given something that is solid in long term in the in the outcome all right so the first two weeks of january i need you to be ready for a collapse of some sort okay this is a collapse the ten of wands there's there could be some sort of you know adversity or conflict that uh, breaks somebody free from some sort of trap some sort of confinement some sort of mental abuse perhaps and it's not easy to go through that but in the end, this is a blessing in disguise because you're going to be right back in your element. You're going to find peace. You're going to um, receive a blessing of some sort. That's what that's what's going to happen. You're going to get a blessing. Ace of Swords reversed. The Ace of Swords reverse is a, is a loss of power, a lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Somebody's about to lose their power over you. Eight of Cups reverse. Somebody has been pretending to be happy. They've been superficial and shallow. Um, and they've been staying in, whether it's you or the other person, has been staying in a relationship that is, you know, fake. It's really fake, refusing to move on. We have somebody here that is totally not awakened and they're, they're totally in the uh, superficial world and they're just not on your level. They're not on your level. I see separation here. We have somebody here that is it definitely has a huge lack of self-esteem and has been letting themselves be controlled by another individual. But I see freedom. I do. Five, five, five is freedom, and this is freedom as well. The Ten of Wands reverse. So I see. I think Taurus. There is somebody that is being broken free from a situation where they were. Uh, being belittled and controlled and tied down to another person who wasn't in love with them it was all about power and control because if you notice there's no love in these cards it was all about power and control and feeding that ego this is like narcissist behavior it really 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 is so i think we have freedom from a narcissist 
whether it's you or somebody that you are directly dealing with, somehow you are involved. I honestly feel like you are going, this, you're going to be, re, this isn't receiving something. Seriously. And you're going to be getting something that you asked for. Maybe, maybe the person that, I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. It's like the person that you want has been in a relationship with somebody that was abusive. And they're breaking free from that person. There is somebody that is breaking free from somebody that was uh, not a good person, put it that way, at all. Very controlling, very authoritative, somebody that, you know, just wanted to be in control. Wanted to keep them down. This is like supply. They were looking for supply to feed their ego. But I see freedom from that and starting a new life. Getting back in your own energy. Being the person that you are. Starting over. Starting your new life. After being in a desperate situation. Somebody, whether it's you or somebody that you know, whoever you're asking about, was in a desperate situation that they are getting out of. So the first two weeks of January, I see uh, regaining your power and headed towards abundance. Good luck.